Dzień dobry, Mason. Dzień dobry, Diet. Good afternoon. We, the Snack Raiders, are back uh, on location for another installment of a Universal Yums. This time, oddly enough, these are randomly picked and selected um, boxes that are sent each month. And this one happens to be Russia, as the name probably indicated before you clicked on this. Um, kind of a weird time for that to be chosen, but this is where we're at. Um, I do think that, uh, if I may voir dire for a moment, um, war is hell. War is usually not necessary, and it's man's ego that creates it. There's some wars, American Revolutionary War, for example, totally apropos, uh, necessary, needed to happen. Um, Vietnam War, not so much, just a complete, um, annihilation of young life that was not necessary for us to be involved or anybody else to be fighting. Um, and I kind of stand on the ladder with regards to the Ukrainian situation. Uh, I feel for those people. Uh, nobody's home should be invaded and run out uh, and whatnot. So although it is a little odd um, that they would send a Russian box this time of the year or whatnot, it, it, at the same time, it doesn't negate the fact that, you know, we'll see that they may have some actually decent food or snacks um, to peruse. I guess the snacks have nothing to do with the war. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. So my heart goes out to it, as does uh, uh, Mace, um, to, to the Ukrainian people. But um, without further ado, we're going to go over some of the Russian snacks that have come our way in this new Universal Yum box. So, let's open this feast upon us. There's a little Russian facts that whatnot. Okay, I'm going to dump all this into our snack bowl and we'll get this tractor started. Now, ooh, some of this stuff looks very, very hey, good. It's a yum bag. Yeah, I think they do that every time. Oh, gonna, Universal. Gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep up, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, all right, so... We want to start with what, Mace? This one. Wait, let's let's spin the uh, lazy Susan around, and uh, we'll go from there. You want to start with that? All right. I think cherry in the past has been very good. Too. So if you didn't think I knew Polish, you're dang sure gonna find out I don't know Russian. But this is this. Um, this is some kind of cherry wafer, um, whatever. It looks good. I was surprised at looking at these that Russia, I would have thought, you know, just knowing the little, vaguely little I know about Russia, that it would have been a lot more bland stuff. This stuff's kind of exciting looking as packaging goes. Hmm. So it's, That's just so weird. As advertised, really jellied uh, cherry. And it's not as like, that's really good, man. I like that. The dark chocolate and the cherry. Goes together well. They're not what you think of when you think of a communist country. What do you think? Those are really good. Hmm? All right. Yeah, those will get gone for sure. All right. Um, next we have... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I read about this. So this sounds pretty cool, right? This is... Um, you, you've got the pineapple, like the dried chunks of pineapple you get in like trail mix covered in chocolate. Now... You may ask yourself, what the crap are they doing with pineapple in Russia? That seems odd. Well, they, I can't remember what it was. There was something where the uh, oligarchs or something back in the day, like, were somewhere in Europe, and they, like, Italy, maybe Greece, somewhere down there, somewhere a little more tropical than Russia, um, and uh, then Kamchatka, and, uh, and they discovered uh, pine uh, pineapple, so they would go back and... Um, they would dig like 20 foot holes in the ground to get the stuff below grade so they could keep it year round and it wouldn't all just freeze and die. I still don't know how you grow a pineapple in. Why do these things need knives? Mace, open something else. I gotta get a knife. Um, I gotta go find a knife. Uh, okay. So these are mushroom croutons. No! <laughs> okay, moving on. This is a yarch. Which looks to be Mushroom a snicker. Mushroom croutons. Which looks to be a snicker. I thought you said you were getting a knife. This is what I found first. <laughs> it works. All right. Uh, 
Did you say mushroom croutons? Did I hear the word mushroom? <laughs> yeah. There's mushroom croutons coming, and I am not looking forward to that because I do not like mushrooms at all. Oh, <laughs> man, you can smell the pineapple coming out of this thing before you even open it. Not literally, but... All right, check this out, dude. Ooh. Very satisfying to break my firm. Mm. What? That's good, man. I thought it'd be like. I thought it'd be pineapple, but it's just pineapple flavored chocolate. Mm. It doesn't seem that. Might be little chunks of it, but. I don't like that. It seems to be just. Just chocolate. Oh, and it's got little bits in there because you can taste like the strands of it. Okay. Okay. You want this next, and then we'll yes, this. Sir. So this is a bond time, whatever that is. I have no idea. I don't even recognize those as letters. Those are, that's like a A without the line. Um. So I don't know what this is. Uh, oh wait, 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 it's ice cream flavored nougat with cocoa glaze. Huh? No, that's isn't it funny how you and I have completely. Oh, I thought Differing you, I thought you meant, did you mean coconut or cocoa? Cocoa, they just spell it cocoa. Oh, look at this. Oh. It's like that one thing. From yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that smells phenomenal. Absolutely outstanding. Wow. Is that, please tell me you like that. That's why. Well, like, I taste the ice cream. Mm-hmm. It's somehow if you took ice cream and got it into room temperature marshmallow form that is god i could eat i could eat several of these wow that's really good man that's just about perfect that is a perfect candy i would put man that's that's one of the better candy bars i've ever had in my life we should have eaten that last for anybody doing one of these eat the bond time last mm. so this Chewy's ice cream I've ever had in my life. Yeah. All right. This is this. Um, I've noticed that on these, they put, if there's nothing but Russian writing, they put a uh, an American description with a caloric intake and all that stuff. This is a sponge roll cake with boiled condensed milk. So like Trace Leche's cake, you know, but room temperature and not have, wet. If I want to have milk, I don't want it cold, but okay. Mm. Mm. These mushroom croutons need to quit. Did you see it flip out of the bowl <laughs> like it's trying to get to us? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good, but I didn't think it'd be so good. <laughs> the multitasking mm. Not bad. All right. There you go. Here is smaller. Hmm. It's weird. I mean, it's not bad. It's not good. It's just there. What's the cream stuff in there? I don't know. Boiled condensed milk. Got me. That's really um, neutral flavor. I mean, it's good. Probably a lot of, a lot I of, a lot of carbs. I just have that cake without mm. like the filling. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's good cake? All right. I don't know. Oh, these are um, rye croutons with horseradish flavor. I was, I was really looking forward to these. Um, horseradish is one of those things like. Um, that I would have never touched when I was your age, but now that I'm, um, older, I, I really like it, man. It, it's really good. It burns your nostrils. It can. Some, some parts of it. These are going to be, what did I say? Croutons? Yeah. yeah crouton. Like croutons. That, so let's, let's knock these two nasty things out together. Where are they? All right. So we got, they're, they're apparently big into croutons in Russia and they got mushroom flavored croutons and then rye, um, I guess like Melba toast type things with, um, what'd I say? With horseradish. 
One of these I'm gonna like. Both of these he's not gonna like. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna guess. Ooh, that's man, that's strong. Rush it on play. We're gonna do vodka shots after this, Mason. No. All right, you ready? Oh man, this is horrid. It's like a landfill in there. Oh, yeah. What now? So wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Which one are you not looking forward to the most? Uh, oh. I know, right? Like, I don't know. I honestly just don't okay, know. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna, let's, let's eat the mushrooms first. Since you don't know and I do, I'm not gonna like this. Oh, God. Come on, let's do it. Mm. Why would you eat that voluntarily? Come on, like, Russia. Like How does a country beat this and mushroom croutons? Okay. Actually, they're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. It's not like eating a mushroom. You know when you like order a pepperoni pizza and uh, you're sitting there like enjoying the pizza and then somewhere some flunky at the, the, the pizza place slid like, he just like a mushroom dropped into it and you bit and you like get that unmistakable like, there's a mushroom, I just bit into a mushroom. And now you have to like, spit out the whole pizza because it just destroyed and defiled everything about it you know what this is what this is you took what this yeah that mm -hmm. you took the japanese prune thing and you put it on a cracker oh mm. well, that's interesting it's that bad it's that it bad. ain't that bad look i it's hate mushrooms like i hate mushrooms worse than cancer and that oh i, I could eat that if i had to like if i had to eat the whole bag I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cry about it's like it. Like the first taste. Yeah, it's just not. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'll give it that. I'm still not eating mushrooms though. So, um, all right. So now we're going with the horseradish. Nah, you're not gonna like this at all. That's good. That tastes very horseradishy. Is that a word? It is now. Hmm. That that would be good. You know what this would be good with? Seriously. Some artichoke dip. Like, bam, 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 you know? In fact, I just had, yeah, I just had an idea. We should put um, horseradish in artichoke dip. I mean, not us, because we don't know how to make that, but maybe the next time we go to a restaurant, we'll order horseradish with our artichoke dip and just mix it in there. This would be good, like, you know, they give you the little pita chips and all. Mm -hmm. This would be just as good. All right, let me set that aside. All right, let's get something. Uh, let's let's stay with the chips while we're at it. What do you think? These are, uh, and apparently this is a, a popular brand. I think there's one. Is there one more? No, those are different. Okay, so we got these, the blue and the red. These are sriracha. And, yeah, and these are crab flavor. So while pineapple, not really something you think of when you think of uh, Russia. Maybe it's crab. But uh, no, I think a crab. I bet you there's tons of crabs. There's no beaches. There's quite a coastline in Russia. The it's entire Russia northern like... part of it is an entire <laughs> beach. All right, what do you want to do first? Hot uh, or crab? I'm going to do sriracha. I mean us, dummy. Oh, yeah, I know. Mm. You asked me. Oh, here you go. Have a crab. It's very crab-like. It smells like the dumpster at a Red Lobster. What do you think? Oh. Wow, that's weird. If you can imagine, yeah, if you can imagine potato sticks that taste like crab. Those are so good. They're not bad. Why would you, that's weird though that they would even make crab chips, you know? Anyway. All right, so now, sriracha. We'll see how hot they make it in Russia. Mother Russia. Ooh, these are more like chips. Here you go. It doesn't even smell like sriracha. Mm. More like I ketchup. They should be spicy. Yeah, they're not even hot at all. I like how they put all this crazy lettering that nobody understands except Russians, and then it's like, it's snack time. But, yeah, that's not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I might have misspoke. These are bacon flavored. Oh, yeah, I fun. totally screwed that up. It's not sriracha. It has nothing to do with sriracha. It's potato snack bacon flavored. Oh, All right, eat it, eat it again and taste it. Well, I, I tasted it. bacon, and I was like, that doesn't taste like. 
Okay, well, in that case, that's really good. Hmm. That would be good, though. Sriracha bacon. Mm. Mm. All right, next chip. Oh, we got these uh, dill cheese balls. Mm. Dill cheese balls, man. I think I'm going to like these. Um, you like pickles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, pickles are, in Russia, one of the vegetables that they use year-round because they can obviously can them and, you know, save them forever. And, you know, things don't grow when it's just a barren wasteland uh, up there when it's so cold for months at a time. So, uh, pickles are a huge um, portion of their green vegetable diet. Right. I bet this bag is going to be very odorous. Ooh, man. Uh, I Holy. love this one. Not going to lie. Why would you lie to the people? Yeah, these are. I don't know if I could sit around and just eat these. I like these crab chips. Yeah, these right. need beer. Maybe. You're going another one? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm just, I'd rather eat a pickle or a cheeseburger. Yeah, why would you meld the two together? That is odd. Now, these are Yuku Us Cap. I can't even come close. I don't understand the. the like, I don't understand what these characters are. So I can't even, I mean, it's, uh, you know, a lot of languages you can pronounce, um, you know, just by kind of sounding it out. You can't do that with Russian because they've got their own uh, alphabet. Crunchy potato flavors with onion flavor. Oh, Not onion. if there's something I ate worse than a mushroom, it's an onion. Biscuits, <laughs> Um. the way they look they're kind of cool but you know that tastes like a sour cream and onion it's not bad yeah that tastes like a sour cream and onion. you know what's funny when i was a kid sour cream and onion was like my go-to chip if i had to get one i didn't like barbecue didn't like any of that crap of course it changes over years but that tastes just like a sour cream and onion which i like but i abhor onions with a passion you know but that's what that tastes like. Mm. And it's uh, it's got a picture of an onion riding a bike with uh, chip wheels on it. That's weird. Very I just don't, it just, Russia doesn't strike me as, as being as flashy and as flamboyant with their packaging. I just figured everything would say like milk, bread, you know, but maybe that's just my, um, Where are those whatever. You wanna do the, hey, let's do one more chip and then we can get all the salty stuff out of the way. These are macho snacks, garlic and something. Garlic wheat snacks. You know what I hate more than you hating onions? What's that? Garlic. Oh, I'll take garlic over the other. Mm. Garlic bread is good, but like. So these are like little garlic knots. Sounds like you're ruining garlic knots. That's a weird consistency. Is it a pretzel? I don't know, right? It's not. That's strange. It's it's almost like a little bagel because it's soft, but it's hard at the same time. It's very weird. I don't know what this this dude, this character on the front is, but that's not bad. Again, needs beer. I think we're gonna need to get the garlic and the onion taste gone before we roll on to the next. Mm. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right, we got like a Fig Newton jar here. No. What you got? Oh, these are oats. I've been waiting to try these. No, that looks, oh, waffles? it's a, that's a waffle. Yeah, that With looks really good. Filling. Yeah, syrup. Syrup? Is that how you pronounce it? Syrup. What do I'm you from say? the South. I say syrup. Uh, these are waffles with boiled condensed milk filling. So much like this thing. This is going to be waffle form, and that looks really good. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is getting gone quickly. Oh, it's soft, dude. Oh, man. That's, that's, oh, am I supposed to open it? No, oh, it's one. I thought it was two. All right, so check this out. Oh, look at... 
It's soft. I mean, it's as soft as a waffle just came out of an iron. I just might have to take a minute and eat this whole thing. That's really good. Mmm. I like that. Mm. That tastes so much better than that. This could be opposing the crabs. Mm. What's that cheese that tastes like um, marzipan? We could put some marzipan on this. Kind of a sweet topping to put on there or something. That was good. All right, we got two more things. Three. And then a yum bag. Or you got three. Oh, this. Mm. All right. Okay. What does it say? Jets. So we got a Jets. About, about the size of a Mars bar. Um, this is a... Chocolate bar with caramel and cookies. Okay. So, oh, there's a picture of it. Uh, so it's like a Twix, right? I guess. Yeah. Twix doesn't have like, Twix has wafer though. It's a cookie. Is it? It's the cookie crunch. Yes, that's part of the like. The... Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. What? Look at how the thing is. I was not expecting that. kind of weird. <laughs> All right. Man, this is a mess to share. Is it good? Uh, phenomenal. Russia, y'all got some good chocolate bars, I gotta tell you. And crab chips. And crab chips. Wow, that's really good, man. Wow. Yeah, that won't last the night. Hmm, pretty good. That is just awesome. That... And the bond time. Is that not good? Both of those are really good. Let's hope this is just as good. And this it looks is like a Snicker. Yeah. Yarch. Peanut and soft caramel. Mm-hmm. That is phenomenal. How do they get that to taste so much better than a Twix? All right, nice. Well, it's like a Snickers, but not as good. Yeah. Good luck with that. Do it under the table. Mm. Oh, you know what it tastes like? And it tastes like one of those paydays. You ever had a payday? Mm. Of course you have. Who doesn't know what a payday is in 2022? Mm. Doesn't it? More so, because it's very peanutty. Mm. It tastes like they've left the... You know how we eat peanuts and they leave the little shell, the little, not the shell, but the little yeah. brown thing on it there. And it's like, oh, who eats that? That's what it tastes like they did. So cutting some corners over there in Russia. All right. Um, let's try this. This is weird. And this is, by the way, wafer cookies with sunflower seed filling. Is this even going to be sweet? That's disgusting. Well, we're going to find out. It looks like it was going to make a, a crumbly mess. Okay. How do you get it out? It's like a, what, a Nico, Nico wafer? Is that what they're called? A little pink and brown and yellow and whatnot. Oh, they're, oh, <laughs> they're individual. Here, 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 here. Eat the whole thing. Don't bite into it. Surprisingly not bad. I thought that would be like very unsweet, but it's not bad. What do you think? It's average. <laughs> it's average. All right. That's everything. That's everything except the yum bag. Mm, that's pretty good, actually. <clears throat> yeah, that's not bad for sunflowers. All right. So in here, I don't know why you picked that up. There's nothing in it. So in here, you've got their candy selections. All right, so let's 
separate last time. Let's separate what we have. Four of these, three of these, four of these, and four of those. Okay. All right, so four of each. So what we have is a Doki. Doki. I think it's an F. Doffy. Doffo. All right, open it up. Grab one. Oh, it's it's charcoal. It's like a it's like a musket. So the folks, full of chocolate. Cause I got gum. Is that? Oh, let's see in the middle. It's got something else in the middle. Interesting. It's chocolate. Just more chocolate. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, all right. Um. This is a Roto Gym, Roto Gym, Hoda Gym, Hoda, H O T A G Y M. Whatever that means. Is this hard candy or? Uh uh. This is rip your teeth out. Mm, mm. Got a little bit of chocolate something in the milk. Something just squirting in my mouth. I don't know what oh, yeah. There's a gushing thing in the middle. It's pretty good, though. That's good. The longer you eat it, it's base, that base. Can't talk. The longer you eat it, it tastes better, doesn't it? Mm. You don't like it? Not really. Meaning you don't like it or you could just live without it. I mean, it's all right. You can take it or leave it. If somebody gave you one, you'd eat it. If somebody didn't, not the end of the world. Whatever. I like that laissez-faire. Crab chips. Attitude. Well, <clears throat> these take a little while to eat. And finally, the light. This is gonna be some kind of ooh. The light juicy three K thirty muck. What'd you say? I don't know. Three K thirty muck. That's weird. Oh. I thought it would be like like a little helmet. It's raspberry. Well, I'm still eating the, the Hoda Gym. <laughs> Hoda Cockby. 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 What's that chick on the Today Show? She opened a gym. Good. Wait, wait, wait. What in the world? It's probably the best thing in the young bag. That? That. No. What is? That is a thousand times better uh, than that. Uh, no. Well, you can take those with you. It's cool. Mm. Mm. I don't care for that. That's good. Um. Okay, so what was your favorite thing? Uh, this. Okay, hang on. Should we divide this into like candy, <clears throat> sweet, and salty? So sweet is a tie between the the bond time and the fake Twix. Um. Uh, my sweet was the waffle. The waffle. Oh yeah, that was the waffle was good. The waffle is also gone. And salty. Crab. Yeah, I'd go between the crab. Yeah, it's the crab. Um, as weird as it is to sit around and eat and crab, much like in our Polish video, remember we talked about those chips that we had? We thought that was cheese. Those were butter. Yeah, those were those butter. Those were butter oh, chips. Those are so I'll tell good. you right now, uh, Lay's Corporation, they Pringles. Uh, stop making cheese and stuff in your chips. Put some butter on that stuff. Man, that that is, uh, I mean, that's awesome, dude. Um, and what's cool about this is if you don't, I learned this recently. If you don't, if you like something in here, you can go on the, the Yum store or some crap like that and order like seven of these or whatever. I'm sure there's a premium for it. It's probably not cheap piecemeal, but especially, I don't know where they come from, but as far as like where they ship, but you know, if you're interested in, in trying some of this stuff, you can go on their store and actually buy it. So well, that's kind of cool. So, hmm. So, I can't remember what we gave Poland. I know it was way higher than Japan. I think Japan was like a two and a half. Japan and was, Poland ended up being like seven and a half or an eight and a half or well, something something like that. Well, I can't it's, remember. it's different because Japan was not, nasty. Not universal yums. Yeah, it was. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. It's just Nevertheless, it's still a good, like, uh, you know, conglomeration of, of things. So, Japan clearly dead last still, right? I mean, they're just no, dragging. No shot. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no chance. Now, Poland versus Russia. What are you thinking? 
Well, it's difficult to think about because you've got all this in front of you. And you just tasted it. Poland. Um, I think overall Poland was better, but Russia's had a couple individual things that smoked the individual Poland things. Crab yeah. You know I what think, I mean? I think Russia was better. No, and, and I wouldn't say it's by much. I'd say like Poland eight, Russia eight and a half, or yeah. vice versa. You know, they'd be very neck and neck. Wait, so. wait. What was like, what was that? What was in Poland? Okay. Well, I'm, we're signing out, uh, and I'm going to find a new snack rater partner because this guy. These were good. Juicy. <clears throat> you have a memory of whatever the opposite of an elephant is. It was two is. weeks ago. <laughs> it was like a month ago. All right. That's even longer. So, there's Russia for you. Uh, snack raters on location. Out. Giddy up.